Yes, hello. Hi. Walter. Heidi? Yes. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Do you mind if I record this to you? Sure, sure. It's just for my reference. Okay. Oh, is that an aquarium? That? Yeah. Um, you like fish? No. <laughs> oh. It was the, uh, the guy I replaced. I think he liked fish. Huh. You see that little hose there? It's bubbling right over them. Yeah. I just wonder if they like it or it makes them uncomfortable. I don't know. I don't think fish enjoy things. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why don't we sit down? All right. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay. Um, I'm just going to do this. Okay. okay. Today's April 10th, 2017 at 9.03 a.m. speaking with homecoming client Walter Cruz. This is week one, session one. I'm Heidi Bergman, EID 101078. We're in my office at the facility. Great. Okay, Walter Cruz. Okay, what can I get you? Can I get the Caesar salad, but actually with blue cheese dressing? I know it's all weird, but. Sure, you want it on the side? Oh, well, sure. Okay. That's not weird. Sounds good. That's it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. Order up patty melt, onion rings, and a Caesar salad. Order in. Hey, Heidi. Hey. The guy in the booth asked for his shift. Oh, okay, got it. Oh, hold on. Is there any way you can take my shift on Sunday? Kevin wants me to go to his church. Sure. You go to church? I do now, apparently. <laughs> so how was everything? Oh, this is wonderful stuff. Really delicious. Good. Uh, anything else? No, no, no. I'll be right back with the check. Oh, uh, say Heidi, yeah? That's your name? Yep. Just just like the name tag says. Okay. H have have you been working here long, Heidi? Um uh, about four years, I guess. Is that long? <laughs> <laughs> you are Heidi Bergman, right? That is your last name? Yes, do I know? I'm Thomas you? Carrasco. I work for the Department of Defense. Are you asking me if you work for the Department of Defense? No, I'm so sorry. I do. I do work for the Department of Defense. And you are Heidi Bergman, right? You worked at the Homecoming Initiative. Well, yes, that was years ago, but uh, what is this? Heidi, I, I just have a few questions for you. I don't how, really have How long have did you time? work uh, at the Homecoming Initiative? Wait, can we... I have a break. Can we can we talk outside? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, right now. Yes, out back. I'll oh, meet you there. Okay. I'll be right there. Uh, okay. Walter Cruz, 26 years old. Three tours. I got her when? Uh, Tuesday. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tuesday. Okay. Wonderful. Now there's this sort of welcome that I have to do. Um, I'm supposed to read it. I'm going to warn you, it's very, very boring. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's move this. Okay. Welcome, Walter Cruz. First, allow me to thank you on behalf of the president and a grateful country for your valuable service. We thank you for keeping us safe. It's kind of cheesy. I know. No, it's fine. Okay, good. My name is Heidi Bergman. I'm your caseworker, which means I'm at your disposal to assist however I can in the reintegration process. Our facility is a safe space for you to process your military experience and re-familiarize yourself with civilian life in a monitored environment, which just means that um, I'm helping to get you situated now that you're back and career-wise, health-wise. Basically, I work for you. Okay. Yeah? Good. You all did really tough work, and... You deserve this break to kind of get your feet under you, you know. The only, uh, I don't want to say mandatory thing, but... Mandatory? 
<laughs> yeah, I guess so. The only mandatory elements in this is your your lunches in the cafeteria and these weekly sessions with me. So hopefully that won't be too painful. No, no, that's uh, it. All sounds really good, and I want to be in compliance with all that. Or just, I know why I'm here, and I'm glad to be here. I've talked to other guys who came home and they got really amped and they dove into everything and they just they had some problems mm. and I don't want to end up like them. Right. But, but I'm eager. Eager for what? Everything, uh, I guess, or just just a life, really. You know, a clean, normal life, and I don't want to like pollute things back here with my stuff, my stress, or whatever. So I'm. I'm glad to be in the program, and I'm ready for whatever moves that process along. Good. I hear what you're saying, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. Good. Okay? Great. Good. Okay. And you acknowledge that your participation in the Homecoming Initiative is voluntary and uncoerced. I need you to verbally... Oh, yes. Yes, I do. It. Good. Good. That's done. So, um, so how are things going? Walter. Like with my room and stuff? Like, how am I settling in? Yeah. Uh, it's good. Everything's fine. Any trouble sleeping? Yeah. A little. Yeah. Nightmares. Like, things like that. Yeah, that's very normal. We can see if one of the guys wants a roommate for a couple of days. Huh. You know. Like, what, what do you mean? Well, some guys, when they first get here, they... They find it difficult sleeping in a room alone, you know, away from their unit, so just a little too quiet, mm -hmm. you know. So I can just I can ask around oh, if anybody okay. wants. Yeah, 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 that might be good actually. Okay. Just not um not if it's rainy. He's a very good guy and all, it's just Right. I heard there was a little bit of Well, it was, it wasn't really a big deal. Hmm. Do you wanna tell me what happened? Hello, Heidi. Yeah, hi. Hi, your uh, your connection's really shoddy. Are you there? I'm here. Can you can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, just barely. I barely got you. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead with the update. Oh, uh, you sorry. Uh, yes, we're all set with intake. We've got everyone in their rooms. Everyone documented. Okay. Great. Where the hell is? Wait a minute. Colin. I'm in transit here. I'm switching at the airport in Detroit. They uh, they did a nice job, actually. Hey, how did the presentation go? Oh, fantastic. I love the program. Love the early indicators. Love the broader applications. Oh, that's great. No idea if that means we can rebudget around the numbers we were asking for. Of course, it's all double talk when it comes to the money. Shit, I'm, so I'm sorry. I didn't see that. What? Uh, I'm sorry. So I just stepped on a little girl's backpack. It was in the middle of the walkway. This is a walkway. Huh? Yeah. All right. Goodbye. Good talk. Colin? Anyway, I told him we need to move on this, you know? Fast. Fast, fast, fast. Yeah, the early interviews are really promising. I think really encouraging. These guys all seem committed yeah, Heidi, to the process. Heidi, and the I survey's don't... already trending in a really great direction. Heidi, Sorry. I just don't have a lot of time. God, this... Terminal is is enormous. Do you need to run? I do, yeah, but I really want to impress on you the importance in the um, in the the subject histories, right? Of collecting right. actual data mm -hmm. and then showing week by week progress. All right, we need to be surgically precise in identifying their experiences, exactly what they remember. Absolutely, we yeah. need to get really granular with all that shit. Okay. Ex ex absolutely, absolutely, yeah. That, that kind of, that kind of brings up an issue that I wanted to speak with you about. Okay, I I have literally one more minute. Okay. B twenty six. Where the fuck is B twenty six? This is the A. These are the A gates, Heidi. The signage here needs a lot of work. I was just working with a client today, Walter Cruz, and I think uh, I was thinking as far as being very deliberate and, as you said, granular. What we what if we took a more B 
holistic approach to just to the initial stages of treatment. What? Holistic. I mean, at this point, like, at this point right here, we're throwing them in the chair and starting the process without developing <sighs> much of a dialogue, and we could get deeper, more individualized outcomes. Heidi, okay, Heidi, I'm going to stop you right there. Okay. Okay, Heidi, I got to say, I'm not loving some of these words I'm hearing. We aren't looking for individualized or holistic or whatever results at all, mm. right? What we're, what we're seeking here is information, Heidi, not relationships, not rapport. Your job is to conduct interviews and record facts. That's it. Whatever these men are holding on to, that's exactly what we need to know. So, Heidi, you need to do a 180 on this right now, okay? No, I get that, but the, the clients, yeah, the based subjects... Based on what are... you just said, you don't, Heidi. So you need to do a 180 on that, okay? Got it. It was really, Colin, it was just an idea for just okay. to improve the data. Look, I'm, <laughs> I'm literally flying to D.C. as we speak, and the guys at DOD are going to ask me where we're at at this. And if I say holistic, they're going to – I don't even know what they're going to do. So whatever the fuck you're saying to me right now about slowing down, muddying up the process, that's exactly the opposite of what we need to be doing, okay? We need real proof of concept, just a – a house of data to drop on the appropriations people so they shut their mouths and stop prevaricating and open up the approval process. That's our goal. Okay, Heidi? Uh, okay. Understood? Yes, understood. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to run. Hey, hey. Yeah. Wish me luck? Good luck, Colin. No, I, don't, I, don't know where, I don't know where that is. Colin? Oh, Heidi? Colin? Oh, one last thing. Did we run the background check on the bus boys? Background check the what? The bus boys. Did we background oh. check the bus boys who will be working in the cafeteria? I didn't. I didn't realize that was part of. Our well, of course, it's part. Of, Heidi, we have to be extremely thorough with the food service. You're my point person there, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, great. So you need to stop whatever it is you're doing right now and get into that. Bus boys, caterers, whatever. Background checks, full workups. I mean, we got to be seamless about that shit. All right, I got it. Okay? Yes, Colin. All right, great. Okay, got to go. Okay, good luck. Do you want to tell me what happened? Uh, yeah, sure. Me and him and Schreier were on KP. Or like we were supposed to cook dinner for everyone, right. I guess. A, a collaborative activity, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, one of the activities. So we decided we were going to make spaghetti and meatballs. Mm -hmm. So we turned in our list to the cafeteria staff, and they gave us the stuff back, the ingredients. And mm -hmm. and we were like, okay, Shreya, you make the salad. I'm going to make the pasta and the sauce. And Rainy, you're going to make the meatballs. Mm -hmm. So we divvy up all the ingredients, and we're cooking. And at some point, he just walks off. He just mm -hmm. leaves the kitchen. Where'd he go? Yeah, I don't know. He just leaves, and the meatball stuff is sitting there, and me and Schreier were just like, okay, I guess we should just do the meatballs ourselves. Sure, yeah. But then after a while, Rainy comes back and sees us doing the meatballs, and he has this, like, tantrum, which, again, I'm not sure why, because we he walked off and didn't come back for an hour, and people were coming in to eat, and we weren't going to be ready. Hmm. So then what happened? Nothing. We just had some words about it and he left did it become physical you're asking if he hit me yeah he did yeah but it wasn't anything like I mean I, I don't blame him if he mm. was dealing with some of his own shit and it came out sideways it it happens to all of us sometimes it's me included yeah how how does it happen with you different ways can you give me an example? It's mostly, like, I'll get these flashes of things that I could do to myself. It's just tension. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't really do it. But, okay, just an example. Mm -hmm. There's a desk in my room. It's wooden. It's got these sharp corners. And the day I got here, I don't know why, but I saw the desk and I just imagined sitting down and leaning way back and like slamming my forehead into the corner as hard as I could over and over or like into my eye. Mm. But that, that was an extreme. It's not like that all the time. Right. Well, how often is that? Does that happen for you? Whoa. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> it's just this. Wow. There's a. He'll just stop in a second. Wow, that is incredible. Yeah, it's driving me nuts. Some kind of protected species, so we're not even allowed to touch him. I could take care of him for you. Would you? <laughs> yeah, there's no problem. Dead of night, full camo. He'd wake up in the Everglades. <laughs> Everyone wins. Oh my God, I'd love that. I'd be forever in your debt. Okay, I've got five minutes. Appreciate your cooperation. Can we step away from the door, please? Thanks. Just over here. So. Right, so, I'm Thomas Carrasco. I work for the mm -hmm. Department of Defense. Right, you said that. <sighs> and you are Heidi Bergman. You <laughs> worked at the uh, homecoming initiative at the, the Tampa facility? Yes, I did. That was a long time ago. Uh, when exactly was um, that? I don't know. Well, it was before here, so five years or so. Tell me, why did you leave that job? I just quit. You quit? Why? Yes. My mother got hurt, so I came back here to take care of her. Okay, so you quit your job to take care of your mom, and now you work here at this uh, this restaurant. Well, the restaurant's a little <laughs> generous, but yes, I work here. Yeah. So you're not a counselor anymore, in other words. You're doing this kind of, uh, mm -hmm. what, kind of menial work? At a <laughs> well, it's not true. menial. It's what I could get. Oh, I had to come home and Right, take... right. You said because your mom got hurt? Yeah. It's not that you're hiding. No. Moving away, doing this different work. You don't want to talk inside. I, you said you want to talk out here. What is this? Why are you? Why you're are not you? hiding. No. Heidi, this... you almost done with your break? I'm sorry. Two minutes. I'll be right there. All right. This is it's just a little embarrassing. All right. I had this whole career, and now I'm back here. I'm doing this, and that's it. I need to get back inside. Okay. And just what were your duties at the initiative? I was a caseworker. Caseworker. Yes. What did that involve? I worked with soldiers uh -huh. just to their mental health. How? How did you do that? How? What do you mean? I mean, what, what did you do exactly to help these men, the, the soldiers? It's therapy, counseling, I told you. Again, I have to say, Miss Bergman, can you see how this might sound like you're hiding something, this, this sort of vagueness? You see how someone might have this reaction? No, I don't. I honestly don't remember. That's all. I just don't remember. This was difficult work, and it just turned out to not be a good fit for me. Well, uh, can you tell me the names and ranks of uh, any of your individual clients? Do you have any identification? Yeah. Yeah, sure I do. Here. That's... Okay. Why are you here? What's going on? As I said, Ms. Bergman, I am asking you about your work at the Homecoming Initiative, but I have to say, you seem to be refusing to I'm not to, refusing uh, provide anything. Any, I just uh, don't remember. Information. Okay. What about the name Walter Cruz? Does that ring a bell? Not that I can recall. Homecoming was created and written by Eli Horowitz and Michael Bloomberg. Directed by Eli Horowitz. Sound design, editing, and music by Mark Henry Phillips. Produced by Alicia Vancouvering and Mark Henry Phillips. Casting by Henry Russell Bergstein. With performances by Catherine Keener, Oscar Isaac, David Schwimmer, David Cross, Amy Sedaris, Marsha Stephanie Blake, Aaron Saratsky, Babak Tafti, and Phyllis Somerville. Homecoming is a production of Gimlet Media. Thank you.